Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'll be talking about an underrated gem in the Stallone catalog, and this is 1981's Nighthawks. This is a thriller with Sylvester Stallone, Rudger Hauer, Billy D. Williams, and Lindsay Wagner. Uh, Lindsay Wagner would play, go on to play Bionic Woman. Billy D. Williams is best known for Lando Calrissian and Star Wars, and Sylvester Stallone, Rocky Rambo, Tango and Cash, The Militia Man, you name it all, he's in it. Uh, but this is at an interesting time in his career where the studio and Stallone himself are not sure, is he the action hero guy? Is he a drama guy doing action? What's happening? And this is a perfect vehicle for him at the time. Um, he's sporting his Al Pacino Ciproco beard. He's method acting in this. This is he, you know, very different Stallone that we're going to come to see in about two years time from this this is like the one of the last kind of real super performances from him until we'll see him in copland so we got rudger howard plays a terrorist called wolfgar who comes to new york to cause havoc and it's up to uh stallone's character uh the silva and billy d williams character fox who are going to get recruited into this terrorist unit to bring him down Little side note about this movie, it shouldn't be as entertaining as it is because there was numerous problems with this. This first started out as the third installment in the French Connection series with Gene Hackman. But at the last minute, Gene Hackman decided he doesn't want to revisit this character. He wants to branch out. So it kind of falls through the cracks. The studios are going, what are we going to do with the Stallone guy? Let's give him a vehicle. Let's give him something else so we can, you know make money off him and they they kind of find this project and he he takes it over so we have uh the original director gary nelson who gets fired like a week into it and rumor has it at one point stallone starts directing this film until the director's guild gets involved and he's not supposed to direct this film they have these strict laws so he he gets put to the sideline and bruce malmuth comes in who just recently did disney's the black hole and I think Gary Nelson did some after-school specials. So these guys were not really into that genre. So I'm not sure why they were chosen. I'm not sure they were the right picks. Stallone, I think, would have been great. Um, but, you know, we don't know how much... Nobody knows, really knows how much was directed by Stallone. But... Uh, so Bruce Mammoth takes over the reins at one point. Um... The thing is, with this, this deals with uh, urban terrorism. And in 1981, no one in their right mind believed that someone would attack New York City. Of course, with 9-11, if this film would have been released right before or right after, I think this thing would have been a blockbuster. It did $20 million. Its original budget was about five, so four times its amount. It was a hit, but not the big super hits that we're used to Stallone making, right? Um, the studio didn't believe in the project. Like they said, they had a hard time with, they thought that this thing about urban terrorism is so far fetched. No one is going to buy into this. They, they said they have a better chance of putting Stallone in a science fiction movie. Demolition Man, you know, but so the studio didn't believe in it. Directors come and go. Uh, the film gets cut numerous times. And uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of the dramatic aspects of this film apparently is on the cutting room floor. There is a director's cut somewhere. They can't find it. Uh, the Blu-ray has the regular edition. There is no director's cut, but there is apparently somewhere lying around. There is footage somewhere where Stallone says that there's phenomenal performances by uh, Rudger Hauer and Lindsay Wagner, uh, who unfortunately... Billy D. Williams, Lindsay Wagner, their roles get chopped and get diminished. Uh, Billy D. Williams was supposed to be like the co-lead with Stallone on this, like a buddy cop film. He gets pushed to the sidelines. Lindsay Wagner is kind of given like a glorified cameo. But with all this, with the, st with the studio not giving in, uh, believing in them, the numerous re-edits... Uh, re um, this film still holds up pretty well. And also, I forgot to tell you, Stallone said the ending is supposed to be so bloody, like, and just as bloody as Taxi Driver. But he goes, it made sense once you see everything. It's violence, but with purpose. And we don't see that in the film, unfortunately. I mean, it's, 
pretty tame. Uh, but all in all, this film still holds up pretty well. I enjoy it. It's it's a great thriller to see Howard and Stallone. Like, so you see Stallone kind of um, doesn't, he thinks he's going to catch him really easily, and he doesn't. And it that tension is then there. And you see it build until it gets to the end. I really like the tension builder throughout. Um, the way it looks like a gritty New York old-time cop film, like you would see Pacino do, you know, back in the day in the early, late 70s, like, like Taxi Driver, you know. It looked like that. It was really gritty. I love that aspect of the film. And the film shouldn't be this good after hearing all the issues they had with it, but it's still a nice little gem. If you can find, this is the Shout version, Apparently, they've done the best job in restoring this onto Blu-ray. Um, also, there's for a little side note, the soundtrack, if you can get this, is actually done by Keith Emerson from Emerson, Lake & Palmer. So a little side bit there, an interesting history note on there. This is an underrated gem, in my opinion, just like Copland is. Uh, Show Stallone can act. And um, I think you should search this out. This is an underrated gem, in my opinion. I think you should look for it, find it, watch it, let me know what you think. I'll paste uh, a trailer down below. I'll give you a little feel. It is a little dated. Remember, this is 1981. And if you're used to Stallone, super jacked and no facial hair. this The first time I saw this, I was disappointed. I thought this was going to be like um, Tango and Cash or, or Cobra. It's not. It's a thriller. It's French Connection but with Sylvester Stallone. So if you keep that in mind, you can really have a good time with this movie. I, I, I urge you to search this out if you can. It must be in some streaming service somewhere. So if you can, Nighthawks, underrated gem. You let me know. Have you seen this? If you have, let me know. Share your comments with us. We'd love to hear from you. This is Stephen from The Around Table with my initial thoughts or uh, my recommendation of Nighthawks, 1981 underrated gem from Sylvester Stallone. And I'll see you soon, guys.